and it's the Esborn Svensson Trio. What I love about this groove is it's super creative and we use three distinct sounds with our brushes on the snare drum. Okay, the first, we're gonna put the flat end of the brush and we're gonna push gently on the head so we just get more of the flat part in contact with the head. And if we slide it sideways, so our hand is kind of doing this. Same motion and technique really that you would do when you're playing sticks or brushes like normal but we're just going sideways, so we drag the brush across the head to get that long sound. Now, a quick variation that we need for this groove. We're gonna play 30 second notes, but we're gonna use a double stroke technique. Usually when we play double strokes, we'd hit the drum, our brush or stick is gonna bounce, and we're gonna control it to get one more stroke. This, we're gonna do the similar motion, just we're going sideways. So when I go this way to the left, I'm getting one sound, and then when I come back, I'm getting another. Sounds like this. The second sound is just like playing a drumstick. We're not gonna let a bunch of the brush hit the drum. We're not going to dig it in. We're just gonna strike the drum head and, and let it bounce, just like we would with a stick. And finally, the third one. We're gonna play no rebound. We're actually gonna dig into the drum. So we get this thud and very short sound. Okay, and learning our groove. Sounds like this. One E and a two. One E and a two. Starting on the and of two, we're gonna finish up this measure by playing the technique just like you would with a drumstick. And we're gonna play this rhythm, starting on the and of two. Two and a three, E and a four, E and a. The left hand is the one responsible for that deadened sort of thumping sound. And we're gonna place that sound with that left hand on beats number two and beat four. Now the last thing to go over in the first measure is on beat four, we're gonna play the back beat with that left hand. And then the sticking, instead of left, right, left, right, we're gonna go right, right. So that'd be E and, and the last note is a uh on the left so that we have time for our right hand to get back to the drum head and play our 30 second notes again. With that sticking, looks like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four right, right, left. Okay, moving along in the second measure. It's actually gonna be the same until the and of three. I'm gonna play up to the and of three, just to be really clear. One E and a two E and a three E. All right, so here's where we have a little change from the second measure to the first measure. The left hand's gonna play that backbeat sound that pushed in, and that's gonna be on the and of three. And then on the uh, we're going to play those twice as fast. I'm only gonna count the 16th notes. So three and a four. And the last one, it starts on the E of four. Four, E and a. Left, right, left, right, left. So those two ideas, back to back, sound like this. Three and a four, E and a. So slow down, the whole brush pattern, both measures sounds like this. All right, and finally, all we have to put in is the bass drum. We're gonna play it on beat one of both measures. That's it. All right, hope you enjoyed that lesson. And to finish up, I'm just gonna play a couple examples for you, orchestrating it around the kit and playing it with sticks instead of brushes. If you're liking these videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.